Welcome, dear friends, to the reflection of the first Sunday of Advent. The liturgy of this Sunday marks the beginning of the year B in the church's liturgical calendar. The liturgical year starts with the period of Advent, a period of preparation for the coming of Jesus as the Messiah and Savior of the world. The theme, the vigilant wait. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Take heed, watch and pray, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his servants in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Watch therefore, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or in the morning, lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. And what I say to you, I say to all, watch. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Gospel reading reports the words of Jesus pronounced shortly before he was betrayed, tried, and crucified. Found among his last words, Jesus called to be watchful alert and keeping awake could be seen as a kind of his testament left to the disciples. These commands appeal for a keen awareness of the provisional character of the present life, asserting that the second coming of Jesus as the glorified Lord can take place anytime and that moment is unknown. Jesus provided two short but striking examples to emphasize the necessity for readiness for his unexpected return. First, he spoke about a man who embarked on a long journey. He commanded his servants to keep busy with their work and the doorkeeper to be on constant watch. These images suggest that Jesus knew full well that in his absence, the disciples and the subsequent generation of Christians might succumb to weariness and apathy. They might fall asleep. That made Jesus admonish the disciples not to sleep but watch. Subsequently, Jesus would issue the same command to the sleeping disciples in Gethsemane. While he kept a watchful vigil, waiting for arrest and eventual death, the disciples slept. In that context, Jesus called to them to keep watch but also to pray. To keep vigilance and resist the weakness that induces forgetfulness, the disciples need prayer in the face of fatigue temporality and unpredictability of the present time. Such a disciplined and deliberate approach to life will ensure readiness for the encounter with the Lord at the time of his unexpected and unannounced arrival. Advent begins with a call for a life of readiness for the ultimate and most crucial encounter of human existence. In the vision of Isaiah, the nation longs to return to its God and true Father for a renewed encounter with the one who brought them to life. The Gospel assures Christians that Jesus will return and once again falling into a sleep of apathy and neglect which an ordinary and monotonous life may induce. Let us pray. Almighty God, 
grant us the resolve to run forth to meet Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that, gathered at his right hand, we may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Amen.